Welcome to I Played a Thing Brandish. Brandish was a, a top down role playing game released in 1995 by Koei, obviously, as you can read there. It's a uh, very uh, unique style of game. Let's start a new game here. And that the dungeon rotates around you instead of you uh, when you turn. So let me show you. Oh, I'm in the dungeon. Okay, so when I turn, you can see my perspective changes, but I, I always stay in the middle of the screen. This makes people very, very ill. All of my friends cannot play this game. I'm the only one that's not affected or sickened by this, and I'm not sure why. I tried to show somebody a video of this, and he just said he couldn't watch it because it hurt his head. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's it's unique. A city lost to the world. We turn on the protector and sentenced ourselves to eternal rest. Mm -hmm. So you uh, go around. This is a switch. Opens the doors. Here's uh, the map. Uh, your status. You uh, gain levels. The arm strength, knowledge, and magic endurance are percentages that increase as you use those skills. So like... Uh, arm strength as you attack things it'll go up. Uh, knowledge is magic use so you use magic that goes up. Magic endurance goes up as you're attacked by magic. Uh, what else? Uh, the game will automatically save actually but you should still save uh, during the dungeon sometimes. Let's go this way. And there's a bee. Watch out for those. I am going to attack with my fist for a while because, as you can see, uh, the 30 next to the sword means I can only use it 30 times. And I don't have very many, uh. I don't have much money right now. Whoops. Uh, to buy new weapons, and if that breaks, uh, it'll just be wasted. So I'll just, uh. I'll just, uh, attack my fist for now. Oops. And you can jump. Move, uh, sidestep. Attack these slime blobs. Right here. So, uh, this will refill your stats. Or your life, at least. For free, which is incredibly nice. Won't open. Oh, here's a switch. Uh, right now we have no magic. Uh, here's our inventory. We have that sword. It's a short sword. Attack strength 2. And uh, another short sword. And this. Uh, a ring of life will automatically revive you if you die. Uh, you don't have to use it. And these are shops. This is an item shop right here. And I'll show you some of the stuff that sells. Hi there. Okay, sledgehammers break through uh, weak walls. We'll probably need about six of those. And uh, steel balls will reveal uh, weak pits on the floor. We use them in front of you. So we'll buy some of those too. Alright. Let's, uh, let's leave this area for now. And go back. Back this way. We're looking for looking for some keys because we can't go much further without them. Up, up. It's a little faster than walking. Up. Watch out for the B. There we go. I don't like the bees. Come on, just come straight at me. Oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. Open this door. And there are the keys we need. Right there. But, 
let me show you something interesting here. There's a pit there. What happens when we jump in? Now, this is a secret area. Uh, the might be cheating just a little bit because it's like a debug area. Well, not really a debug area, but it has a, has a special room. Oh, where's that room? It's a very large area for some reason. I'll come back for it. Oh, here it is. It is the sound room with a bunny girl in it. Or this, this wasn't easy to find. So in return for your efforts, we're going to let you listen to all the music in the game. It's a, it's a sound test. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we're leaving. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, we're here for one other thing. Go up this way. Now, this will make the game so much easier. It's not even funny. Go on. What's that? That is the warp magic. Probably the most expensive magic in the entire game. Cost 150,000 gold, gold at the shop. Let me show you what it does. So we select it. Oops, we don't want to throw it away, we want it. So we select it, we use it. Now we can choose anywhere on the map that we have uncovered and go there instantly. So we'll just head for the stairs. How awesome is that? Now we have the master keys, so we'll uh, open this chest. Gold bar. Gold bars are pretty much your only source of money in the game, besides finding money in chests. So, yikes. Tons of bees, jeez. Never been attacked by that many bees here at once. Uh, remember the hammer? Here's a weak wall. We'll just bash right through it. Uh, slime blob. There we go. Uh, Spot seems a little strange because it's, it's a pit. We found some H potion, uh, healing potions. Another short sword and 300 gold. Pretty good so far. So uh, yeah, where do we go next? Guess we can go up here. There's a door we didn't open. God damn! No! Ah. There we go. Uh, it's over here. That is a goblin, I think. A little tougher. Takes a lot of hits to kill. But we need to raise that arm strength, so we'll just attack all of them. Oh yeah. Alright, and you can hold L and R at the same time, and it'll kind of go into a rest mode and heal all your stats. Dude, we'd be we'd be wasting uh wasting all our all, all our swords here, but this might be a better way of going about it. Another chest. Uh, another H potion. Oops. Aha! Dodged. Anything else over here? Where's oh, a door? And a chest. That's locked. Caring too much. We'll just uh, dump this.
Oh yeah. Keep increasing that arm strength. And uh, level up. What else we got here? Um, the corner of this room we didn't explore. Uh, there's nothing in here, it's just a corner. Alright, that's it. We're out of time. So I'm going to say stop and save here. Uh, I'll see you next time. Or I might just continue in a few seconds. Uh, so, uh, bye.